All right, guys, welcome. Um, most of you know me. My name's Alan Hewitt. Ray Armstrong sat in the audience here as well. Um, basically, we're building and designing these. Uh, we call them jet speed flying because uh, where we want to be uh, by the end of the year. Uh, but basically, it's a paramotor as well, jet paramotoring. But what I'm going to do is start it off, just show you a video, because the video will really explain everything we're doing. Once you've seen the video, I've got about four or five slides I'll show you with some details. People keep asking me weights and power and how long you fly for and everything else. So um, I'll start off watching the video, and then uh, we'll go start into a PowerPoint presentation. It'll literally be quick. It'll be small. Right, so. Right. Okay. Oh, make some noise. Jet today. <laughs> yeah. So what do you reckon then? First impression. Great. It's uh, it's got nice power. It's it's similar to a pair motor, and uh, it's just way cooler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Much more cool. It's great. It's so so nice. First flight on the single jet. Yeah. Plenty of power. Yeah. Yeah. That wasn't full throttle. <laughs> Second flight on the new model. Absolutely brilliant. It's. It's uh, toys for the boys. It's a different, totally different model. Let's go. 
Workers, sorry, it's a project we set up. Uh, got them on <laughs> thing. Um, just to uh, see how far we would get with them, because we did. Uh, I was a powered parachute instructor many years ago. Um, power motor pilots that have flown them. I've had Mark Weasley, he's a, he's a world champion power motor pilot. Everyone knows him in the power motor industry. Been working with the BHPA at the same time. Um, and they just love them. The four people that have flown them so far, only four, all experienced power motor pilots, um, and they all loved them. The two things that surprised me, they said it was so quiet, because apparently all the noise goes behind them, unlike a power motor. Uh, and at the same time, uh, there's no talk, so it's a different way of flying. So they, they really enjoyed flying them. Uh, but it'll never really get into the power motor market as such. It's not what we're designing for building them. Might one or two, you know, a fun thing to learn to fly. But I, I don't I don't expect selling many. So the idea is not to set up a business and really sell them. But we do want to do something different. Um, most of my work is in the film industry. And what we do in the film industry is come up with something that nobody else has done, sell it to a stunt coordinator and a producer, and then they, they put it in one of the films, the action films. So that's... That's the end goal here, you know. Proof of concept, and then get it in a film, and then it's just a, a nice toy to, to have as well. So let me give you some details. There's four, mod four models available. Right? There's a single Olympus, the jet surf from AMT in Holland. Um, there's a simple uh, 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 Olympus. It's 51 pounds of thrust, um, and that's that one there. You see that one there? Uh, so it's quite small. Um, on this one, you're going to get about 24 minutes of flying time. Hence, it'll really never really take over in the power motor market because they really like their three, four hour long distance flights uh, and go from there. But a lot more fun, as you saw uh, Miles say on the video. Uh, you can have a 15 litre tank, you've got 36 minutes flying time. Um, so, uh, basically, that's the, the one model. Another one is we've got a single Titan. That is 88 pounds of thrust, so more power on a single jet. Um, and that's the one I like the most. It gives you all the power you want. But uh, as, as again, you now you've got 15 minutes of flying time. I actually don't want to fly any more than 15 minutes. I want the speed. So we've started off so far on 25 meter power motor uh, wings, um, 22 meter power motor wings. But we're going down to 18 meter speed wing. But for that, it, you need a fast launch and a, a fast landing. Hence, we've got the trite model available now as well. Haven't flown it yet. It's just it's just done ground trials. Almost ready for flying. As soon as I finish the uh, cage on the back, then it's almost ready for flying. So that would be next. And we want that to uh, test on the 25 meter first, but then we've got an 18 meter speed wing. Because we want the horizontal speed uh, and the, the two heavy jets on that. We've got two uh, Titan jets on that one. Um, you got the Twin Olympus. <coughs> so basically the same as uh, uh, the top one, but now you've got two on. So we designed the frame so you could put one jet on or two. And it's very quick to take a jet off one and convert a, a twin one to a single one or a single to a twin. So it's the same power pack. Basically, what we wanted is just a power pack. You throw on your back. You can use it for almost anything, you know, anything that just gives you a bit of thrust. Um, and, and then the big one, the uh, twin Titan, 176 pound of thrust, a lot more power. Hence, that's that one down there right now, the big jets on it. You can have a look when we've uh, finished talking. Um, and that's why we can down, down and go on a smaller wing and, and really go for the speed uh, uh, on that. You've got the trike. At the moment, the trike has only just done ground trials, so it's ready to fly. Uh, but I've been working on this frame. At the, at the moment, this is a, a, a concept. It's not really there yet. But once I've strengthened this up, then it just means the risers can hit, hit on here during launch and take off. Um, and then the lines don't get down on the actual uh, uh, jet engine itself. You saw when you've got a foot launch, it's really easy to keep the canopy away from the jets. On this, it will go behind you, and then you've got to control it in a different manner. It's more like powered parachute, and that's more than what I'm used to anyway. Uh, uh, <coughs> so we've got two of these models. So you've got the Twin Olympus, and then you've got the Twin Titan. Uh, so 103 pound, 176 pound of thrust. Both of those twin models will be ideal for the trike and different uh, canopies as well. Uh, so you can go from there. Mm. Yeah. Right. Obviously, everyone asks about the cost. Yeah, they start from about 15,000, go up to about 36,000. So jets are not cheap. So hence, it's not really going to get into the power motor market uh, uh, and go from there. But it's, it's, uh, the film market can afford it. Uh, so that's what we're putting down, ready to fly training courses. So we're working with um, uh, guys from the BHPA because they control paramotoring, paragliding. 
Um, we, we've worked with Mark uh, Leavesley, uh, who's a uh, world champion. He makes this thing look so easy. Uh, there's Alex Fluid over Buttermere Bash as well. Uh, so we, we're working with the, uh, the guys, the skills in, not in skydiving. And somebody asked me what I'm doing about talking about jets at a skydiving convention. Well, I've had enough about talking about skydiving. So I thought you want to see something different and new. So this is our latest project. Right. 120 pounds an hour. So, yeah, not cheap to fly. <laughs> skydiving. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> it can be. <laughs> uh, so where's the market? Obviously, there's a bit of power motor market. We can run courses. People who are power motor qualified will convert them to this, let them have a fly around. They pay a higher charge, and, and they'll do something different. It's fun from there. Um, events and shows. I want to set up a display team. So we've got four, four machines. We go to events, go to shows, and we just launch them and fly them and do uh, uh, an exhibition, basically, uh, just like you know we used to do on the Red Devils. So it was always demos. There's still a lot of events out there where they want to see something different and new. Um, so every time we speak to people, yeah, just get them cleared by the CAA. Still working on that one. <laughs> uh, and then we'll uh, and then we get one exhibitions. Uh, but it's more of a hobby than anything else. All right. Uh, there's lots more videos on my website, so if you want to know more about them, there's lots more inf information on there. Um, <coughs> the, the kit itself, then, I managed to pack them in a pelly case, um, and we got fire extinguishers, got its own fuel uh, uh, filling, because you've got a jerry can, and you just fill it up uh, straight from the fuel pump. It's clean, it's not messy, so I wanted, didn't want fuel all over the place, so that works quite well. Um, the two uh, uh, Olympus jets here, here uh, I say, when you put it on your back, you know, carrying a Bergen, it's just normal, it's natural. It's all high on your shoulders, so you don't really feel the weight. So if you've got 20 kilos when you're fully fueled with 10 litres, it's down to 10 kilos by the time you finish flying. As Miles uh, took them for a flight, we said no more than 10 minutes. So we've got a stopwatch, which is, you know, that's our altimeter on this. We just put a 10-minute stopwatch on, a pie chart counts down. Land after 10 minutes. Well, 10 minutes was up, he forgot that he was going to land in, and me and Ray's down there watching him thinking, he's going to run out of fuel, you know. He flew around for another 10 minutes, <laughs> you know, because we thought we only had 10 minutes, but it's 10 minutes full power. So when you keep flying around and you're enjoying it, it's a 20-minute flight, so all the timings I've got on there are on full power. You're not flying on full power, so when I say 15, 20 minutes, you can make an hour out of it, you know, because you're not on full power all the time. Yeah, I never give Miles the kit. He just takes them and has some fun. <laughs> The um, had the frames built, so uh, it's, it's a, a power motor harness as such, um, but had the frames built just to take any jets on, uh, and I designed and built the first one, and then um, I gave it to, uh, uh, to one of Ray's mates, Fletch, and Fletch is, works in the uh, metalwork industry, and basically he just drew it up and printed some more out for me, and he made four up, so we, we, we quite like them. But what we've done right now, it's very Heath Robinson, just to prove a concept. Now we want to get them all on CADs, draw them up, make them look cool as well, the sound cool. You know? So that's the next stage. Um, the fuel tanks, I had them all custom made. Every one I got failed, <laughs> didn't work, you know, different things went wrong. So I ended up learning all about fiberglass myself uh, and then beefing them up. So that one's a quite heavy fuel tank now. This is, it's worked out about twice as heavy as it was intended because of all the extra padding I've added onto it. The latest one, is a lot smaller and nicer, and you can see it's not got all the bumps and all the bits on that I did. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's proof of concept. Uh, power motor pilots uh, don't like the fact that they've got, they've got to hold some all the time, one in each hand. You have to have a throttle for each jet. So if you've got two jets, basically you can fly your canopy, your right throttle works for the, uh, the right jet, your left one for your left jet. Um, but what I've just done now is combine the two into one, which... You know, they, they want uh, that. So what I've done is build it, built it into a, a glove. So when you've got it on, they can let go, they can do what they're doing, but it stays with them, the power stays with them. Um, and it's just a quick, small throttle, uh, and away it goes. You know, you can do the two now with one jet, with, uh, with one handle. You could just take off with two and just use one, fly it around till that one's out of fuel, and then use the other one. <laughs> but in this case, what we've done is add them both together. So we use the two jets all the time. Um, Everything's been designed from scratch. This little device here, basically, I put it in a box. We made everything inside, um, and AMT, uh, the jet manufacturer, helped us uh, build everything with 
uh, military grade hardware. We've got the fuel pump inside there. We've got a battery out isolator. So it's electric start, really easy. And it's got its own cooling down system. So when you land, you stop, switch it off. It takes about three or four minutes and the jet will keep pumping down again and cool it down and ready to start again. And it goes from there. Um, we, we've got everything we can add on to it. So we've got a reserve, you know. At the moment, we want to do a lot of low-level flying, so it's pointless having it, but you put more weight on. The guys were taking it up to like 1,000, 2,000 feet and really throwing it around with a canopy to enjoy it. Uh, and then they got the reserve attached to it, of course. We've got an airbag. You saw one of the guys there flying an airbag. What I like about this, if you land and fall back, uh, this thing acts an airbag and it just lowers you to the ground. It's quite surprised how effective it really is. I've used it. <laughs> uh, but paramotor pilots, when... When they're used to flying, they, they won't need the airbag, but it's a nice thing to have if you're learning as well. We've got pockets that can go on the side of uh, the harnesses. Uh, so there's a lot of more things we can add on. Um, it's a very simple harness, but what we've done is a, a high attachment point because all the weight's on your shoulders, on your back. Paraglide is like a, a low, paramotor pilot's like a low attachment point. But then, you, you know, you've got a lot of weight on your back. It doesn't really work so well. So we haven't designed a, a low attachment point jet uh, harness yet. But we are working on that. Uh, but at the moment, you know, I like it high anyway. <laughs> Skydivers, we're used to that. Power motor pilots aren't. They want it differently. So any, anybody got any questions? Uh, initially, Alan nearly got a Darwin Award. If you all know what the Darwin Award, how to kill yourself in a really effective way. Um, so it's easy to put the power on, but at the time, the power didn't bleed off very well. And we didn't know how much was going to go. So there we were up in the Cairngorms, stood up. Um, Alan suddenly put it on full noise, full power. All of a sudden, he's running like Superman, but then <laughs> towards a cliff and couldn't turn the power off. So he nearly ran into a cliff at 40 miles an hour. <laughs> Is exaggerating. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, the, the, um, uh, the, the jet manufacturers make their jets, and they take a while to dethrottle, basically, slow themselves down. We've changed all that in the software. So we've modified the software, the hardware, everything's custom made. There's nothing standard on these jets. You know? uh, so we, we've done a lot of modifications with the help of the experts who know, know about jets. Uh, now you can power off and it instantly powers off. Whereas it took 15 seconds last time. 15 seconds of full power is not nice. <laughs> Slowly going down in time. They didn't tell us that bit. Any more questions? Pass. <laughs> uh, what fuel does it run on, Alan? Well, it's a diesel. Um, jet A1, uh, an oil mixture you can do. But what I've done is I've downgraded that. You can put any sort of diesel in you want. Uh, so I've now buy buy commercial diesel because getting Jet A1 is a right pain. <laughs> you know, you end up getting it from a fuel bowser from an airfield. So now it's just I just buy a 200 litre drum of diesel. I mix it myself with the oil, um, and then fill the jerry cans up when we go out. We've got one of these boxes. We put about five or six jerry cans in, and and it keeps it nice and tidy. Everything's on the trailer, and away we go. Any more questions? Is that the question? Have I showed it to Tom Cruise yet? <laughs> I have, actually. He likes it. He wants to fly it. <laughs> so there is a future there. No. No. It's minimal, from what I'm told. Uh, so I'm not an expert on that, but apparently it's minimal, so it doesn't really matter what, which type, type of diesel you use. But you can't be swapping from one type of diesel to another. Once you've got the jets up and running, you keep the same diesel. So that's what we do. Have you thought of approaching the hang glider community with this? Because they would absolutely love it. Uh, I haven't, no, because we've been working with the paramotor and paragliding uh, community because obviously that's their ball game, really. You know, the BHPA know all about flying paramotors. So those those are the guys we've been working with. I'll, t I'll talk to you afterwards. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Mark Shaw from the BHBA, British Hang Gliding and Paragliding Association. Oops. We, we do hang gliding as well as paragliding. <laughs> so we're interested in it from the hang gliding perspective as well. Thanks, Alan. Excellent. All right, we've got an official with us. <laughs> All right. <so> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but um, you're just the person to help us get these cleared for events and demos. So we're already talking with Mark and, 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 and your man at the back there. I forgot your name, sorry. 
Brilliant. <laughs> uh, we'll talk more after this because definitely we want to get more in use and we, we need you to get us through the official side. It's not going to be easy, I know, but uh, we need to get through that bit next. And the, and the CAA have deregulated power motoring from what I gather. So actually, I could just put one off now and go and fly it as long as I don't break air law, which I wouldn't do anyway. You know, so <laughs> But we will work with the experts. It's not something we're just going to do. Any more questions? Speed, yeah, we don't really know. We're working on that. We've got different sized canopies we're trying. We've got different jets. The next thing we do, me and Ray are taking these up to the Lake Districts with uh, some paragliding, uh, paramoting pilots. And then we're going to learn to fly them as well. Uh, and then we just put different wings on and try them all out. And then by that time, by the end of the year, we should know what's best, what's the best canopy for the best jet and weight. So we're still in the R&D stage. It's, it's, it's right in the development. But we love flying them. And I'm unemployed at the moment, so that's what we're going to be doing for the next few months. <laughs> Any more questions? Yeah, yeah, it's a bit of a sore subject right now because uh, uh, Jarrah, the guy I was working with, obviously just died recently, rest in peace. He, he was the expert that was working with the jets uh, in free fall. Uh, he sent me his video on the 1st of January, I think it was. Um, and I sent it off to Tom and stunt coordinators to show them what they're doing in free fall as well as what I'm doing on the ground. And we're going we're, we're gonna to promote the whole thing as we can use them for skydiving, we can use them on the ground, and we'll do some sort of special type of stunt for it. So we have been talking uh, uh, about that a lot, actually. Yeah. Any more questions? All right, brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you.